We are trying, there we go. Hello everyone, so good to see you. Hello, how are you? It is 2.10, I'm a little bit late. I've been trying some new technology, if you can see that. And we also had a major storm here last night and it knocked out all of our Wi-Fi and our power and I was waiting for it to go back live again. So hello, I'm glad you guys are joining me for our whole week of videos. This is day two where we are sneak peeking, showcasing the upcoming holiday mini catalog. I do have it here. I should not be get that out and show it to you. Um, so you can, if you don't have it yet, um, obviously if you are a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, you, um, just a little extra light today, you would have gotten this from the company. Um, if you are one of my customers that has placed an order with me in the last six months, if you're one of my club members, I send these to you for free if you would like them to. So, um, but the mini catalog, and I can't show you the inside of it yet. I wish I could. Uh, we're not allowed to uh, until it goes live, um, but there are so many amazing things. So this whole week is about you building your wish list. So uh, if you started yesterday, uh, get out that piece of paper because we're going to show you some more things today that hopefully you will fall in love with. Uh, on Saturday, I did a like a poll or a survey asking you what you guys would like to see, and reindeer fun was the number one selection. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you today, and I happen to agree. It is so fun and very versatile. So it's not just like one reindeer. There are lots of different reindeers, different uh, playful, more serious, beautiful, majestic, all of them in between. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of both of them. So hello. I can see your comments if you guys would like to chat with me. I, normally I ignore them. Um, I hope you did like my new intro. I love Trisha said I was getting fancy and I am. I am uh, getting some help with my social media now. I've actually hired my son Ryan full time and uh, uh, that was um, one of his ideas. He's going to be implementing a lot of new things with me uh, and I'm just really enjoying working with him. He is in incredible. You're going to see a lot of new merchandise in the store because now that he's doing this full time, uh, you're going to see a lot of more things for sale. Uh, you're just going to see a lot. So thank you for being here along for the ride. Thank you. I have promised you all since forever that this is my full time gig. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I have a team of over 700 rubber queens. I love them, and they are my heart and soul. And I, everything I do is to serve them and to be their leader. Um, I have an incredible training program that has over a 1,000 training team members, and I serve them, and I love them. So I'm not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, um, I am so I'm grateful. I also have my personal business, which is what fuels all the things. So I am grateful you're here, a part of it. So this week is all about every day, I'm gonna showcase one new product. It's not all of it. Oh my goodness, there's so much there, but it's some of the favorites that I had now, a lot of them that you guys picked. So I gave, I had some trouble choosing, so you guys helped me choose. So I'm gonna turn you down to my hands and we are gonna jump in and get started. Today we are featuring, this is a stamp set, Reindeer Fun. Now the dies though are a little different. Can you see these dies? Doesn't that reindeer looks really scary? I'm like, that reindeer, I, I don't wanna say, it. he looks like he's possessed. Like he, this is what a reindeer looks like when they're getting ready to get hit by a car in Michigan. Because when you're driving in Michigan, it is like you better, like you're playing a video game and it's called Dodge the Deer. Literally every day, I probably dodge three to four deer a day. This morning, I probably have already dodged three or four, just on my way from school and back. So where I live, there are lots of deer. That's what their eyes look like to me when they come near, near my car, but that is not what they look like when they're created. So we're gonna actually show you that today too. So grab your pen, grab your wish list. Uh, all the things that I'm ordering cannot be ordered until September 4th if you are a customer. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you're a part of Stampin' Up, if you're a part of my team, you'll know we've already been able to order it. That's why I have it. So one of the, one of the perks of belonging to Stampin' Up um, it's what we call a happy shopper. If you're an avid crafter, it is just smart 
to purchase a starter kit and be a part of Stampin' Up! We get to get everything early. Um, we get to order early and we get to play with things ahead of time. Um, but if you are a customer, we love you too, you are very important to us, then um, you can put your order in for these things on September 4th. All right, you guys ready to get started? All right, I'm going to switch you down to my hands um, and we are going to jump in. We are using the Reindeer Fun. This is a brand new bundle. Um, it uh, is $54 and let's see what else I can... Um, well, I had it here, but I must have deleted it. It's $54. Let me put this in here real quick. Reindeer Fun, it's $54. And the item code number is, I had it in here, but I must have deleted them. There you go. So that is um, what I'm going to be using t uh, for right now. Um, this is a card that I made with it. I wanted to show, I wanted to show you, there we go, sorry. I got my video in a different position today. Uh, look how cute that deer is. Like I'm telling you, it's not like, I did think it was like when you see the dyes on them, it looks like the deer is almost like I got like possessed or scared or really scary, but it's not. It's the way that they are lining them up for you so that it actually already has the eyes. Look how, and it's so adorable. So we're gonna jump in and make a card just like this. And then I wanna show you, um, it has, again, like very majestic, like this. You could create a whole sleigh. You could have reindeer, or you could have Rudolph, and Blitzen, and Vixen. So, uh, I, it is really crazy. It is almost 100 degrees today. Well, it is 100 degrees today in Michigan, and we are playing with reindeer. How fun is that? Okay, uh, today's a little super simple card. In case you didn't know, um, you're just watching. This is five days in a row of videos. Yesterday, this was the card that we made. So if you missed and you wanna learn how to make this card, it's a little pocket that will have money in there, gift card. Um, so you can watch yesterday's video and it will show you how to make that. And also, um, every day I'll be emailing you out um, the replay of the card and a recipe card that will show you what supplies I used and the measurements for cutting. Hello, Miss Linda. I'm glad you could be here. Awesome. All right, and Marianne. Hey, Marianne. I just saw Marianne when we were in St. George together. I'm so glad that you could join me here, too. All right, so, but today we are using the Reindeer Fun. Uh, this is a pack of paper. So one side is very cute reindeers. You can run, you can cut them. All right, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'm used to doing things upside down. With this new camera angle, I can actually do things right side up. But um, this one, some of these cut out with the dies. And all these, uh, all, again, adorable, playful, so cute. So these are more like scene, scene based. And then look, here's that other, this is how I got the idea of putting it in the wreath. I thought that was really cute. And then the other side is all really nice, just Christmas patterns. So it's that great pack of paper that is able to kind of do both things. Um, so that's the paper we're gonna use. And today I'm gonna actually use this pattern. I love this uh, green pattern. One of the things I'm doing for our, um, our sneak peek week is if you place an online order with me by September 5th, if you got an email from me today, I put February 5th, and I don't know why. I, I have no idea. I don't know why I thought February and September, they're not even close. They don't even are spelled the same. Sometimes you don't know why. I'll blame it on Ryan because he was here working, and I think he distracted me. Um, anyway. Um, I'm going to cut that by five and a quarter by, let's do by two and a quarter, five and a quarter by two and a quarter. Actually, I'm going to do it by two. No, I don't. By two. Um, anyway, when you place an online order over these, uh, these next, till September 5th, then you are going to get all of the cards prepped and cut and mailed to you. And um, so that is something for you to look forward to. Build that wish list up and then you can place your order on September 4th and you actually will also have the 5th to be able to put that order in and qualify for the free cards in the mail and then if your order is over $50 
then I throw in some free, I'm gonna throw in some free of these three gold gems that we'll use a lot through the next few days. All right, this is thick basic white cardstock and it is folded in half. Um, then I have a regular basic white and this is four by five and a quarter. I'm going to glue down that piece. Oh, this is painful to glue down that cute paper like that. And that's going to get glued right down there at the bottom. And I'm going to take some of our white ribbon with a silver trim. This is an online exclusive, I believe, but it is a carryover. So we still carry it. I love it because it just has that little bit of sparkle on it. I'm going to, I need to put this on do not disturb. So, and let me grab my scissors really quick, which I left over. Okay, and I'm just going to tie a little bow off to the side. I love this white ribbon. It's very sheer, and it's just, it just gives it just the right amount of sparkle. It's not overpowering. It's just the edge. It gives it a little bit of sparkle there. So I'm going to just tie a little bow over there on the side like that. Pamela said she hasn't received the email with the measurements. Um, actually, Pamela, that will be going out this evening for yesterday's. Um, we, I sent out the replay but didn't put in the recipe card. I will be sending it out again tonight. We're trying to, we're, re, we're reformatting that. Ryan is working on it as we speak. Okay, so there is the start of our card. Does it just look like a Christmas present? And it didn't even do anything, really. It just looks like a Christmas present. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually stamp the words. I always stamp my words first in case, so that way I know where to put my image. Also, can you guys hear me okay? Uh, yesterday, I know that uh, I was a little muffled in the beginning, so we worked on some settings as well too. So if, if you can't hear me, let me know. That means Ryan and I need to work on it some more. Um, but I'm gonna take the reindeer fun and this one I'm going to do, may all your days be filled with cheer. And I love that. We want all our days, not just for Christmas, but all may all your days be filled with cheer. Ink that up with our real red. And then I'm going to stamp that over there. Nice. I swear, I've been, I've been crafting for 25 years, and that never gets old for me when I stamp it right. Um... Yes, Betsy, this does have dyes. I'll show them to you again. Uh, there is kind of an echo. All right, we're, we're working on that. Um, this room, either I have to get a rug, or there is a, I'm not gonna mess with it right now, but there's an echo setting that we need to work on, so we'll, we'll get working on that echo. Um, all right, so after that, let's, okay, this is gonna get down to the front of our card. Take our dimensionals, four of them. Yes. Yesterday was a little bit muffled. We're working through it. And trust me, we're going to get it figured out because we'll be doing lots of videos from here. Um, although that's funny because we may be moving into a different condo, but that's a different story. We don't know yet. All right. So may all your days be full of cheer. All right, so what I did, I did next, and I did this before. Someone asked you if there are already dies. Yes, the, there is the Reindeer Fun dies, and it's a big set of dies, because you're gonna do lots of different reindeer. Um, there is a flying reindeer. There's a set of dies for this, which I don't have in here, because we're using it back in Lanesburg. But there's hollies, and there's bells, and there's lots of presents, there's a wreath. There's the playful reindeer, there's the there's a string of lights. Again, there's more presents and then there's a cute little tree. And then there's this really neat little like opening. There's like um, branches where you can put the little head of the reindeer through there. So this is actually a ton. It's a huge set of dies. Um, and so I love it. Lots and lots going on here. So what I did, just because you're gonna see, I ran through the holly, the holly berries, and garden green and real red. That's how I got those. You could use this on any Christmas card. 
I actually am using these on a bunch of tabs. I'm doing the tabs. Um, here we have the wreath that is there. Oops, upside down. I'm going to, I'm so used to doing things upside down. With my new program, I get to do it right side up. But um, you get to do the wreath with the bow and obviously the reindeer. Um, uh, this one, by the way, this die right here, that's the same as the one I used yesterday. I wanted to show you that. That's from the Christmas labels. Isn't it so pretty? I love that one. So Christmas labels, um, that's the one where I used it yesterday, and that's the one that, uh, again, one of my favorites. So if you're making that wish list, uh, later in the week, I'm going to actually use the words with it, too. But so far, I'm just using the die. All right. And then I ran through the reindeer. So this one I did an early espresso. That's the one that actually has the antlers on it. Um, then the next one, this one, it has like the swiggles in the ears. I ran through with basic beige. So you want to do like your lightest color, either white. I think the beige was good on that one. So basic beige. And then the last one, you did is the top layer. It's the color that you actually want your deer to be. And I wanted my deer, I chose pecan pie. But again, you could do um, early espresso for your deer and give them whiter antlers. Um, so you can, you can do some different colorings with it. I've only played with just this layering, but I do want to make some different colored deer as well. I also, I also want to make one with a red nose and have it be Rudolph. I want to make one and put a little bow on it and have it be a, a woman. And we could do all kinds of fun things with our view. But I ran all those things ahead of time so that you don't have to watch me do that. Um, I am going to assemble this. I'm using green glue to assemble. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this basic beige one. I'm just going to put some glue on the ears down here, put the basic beige one on top of the early espresso, and it should line up perfectly. You could use mini glue dots too. Just this next one, I think, is good to use a little bit of that green, that green glue. Because um, you want to just do a little bit around the ears, just a little, don't push too hard, so the ears lay down. Come. The lightning was so bad last night, and there was a bolt of lightning that the thunder crashed instantly. My dog, Lola, literally went into a panic attack. I've been up since, I don't know, 3.30 in the morning because she was, like, beyond scared. It was even worse than fireworks. It was so bad. So anyway, I, did, I haven't slept since 3 something. I don't know. I think a lot of dogs suffer with that. And I've tried anti-anxiety medicine, I've tried the thunder shirts. The medicine doesn't even affect her. Um, we have the same medicine that my daughter-in-law gives her dog, and it like knocks him out. And Lola, it doesn't even affect her. All right, so then you layer that all together. So this is a point. Can you see what that basic beige does? I'll take my scissors and point. It actually creates little eyeballs for it. And then it puts the little ears, and makes them look real. So, let's see, you can probably see better. Look at that. Does it, it almost looks so realistic. It is so cute. Again, you could put a little red, a red spot on there at the end and it would be Rudolph. Um, you could have a whole little family of deer. You could do different colors. I cannot wait to see all the fun things that you guys do with this, this uh, deer. And again, something that Sam has been doing lately is that here's the here's the, the uh, stamp set that deer isn't in there like there's all the other deer of course there's the accent pieces for them and there's there's words and there's this cute little tree but so the die set really helps you to be able to get more use out of all of it so i'm just going to put this down here on our tag the tag is from something fancy and then i'm going to take this little holly and let's, I'm going to pull off one of these smaller ones on the side. You guys all trim off your dimensional ones on the side. I use the side pieces just as much as I use the inside ones. And that's going to go right down here. Okay. And 
couple more. We'll take one, two, three. One, two, three. This is going to go on our, our front. Yes, so when you order, you place your order, we send you, and we'll send you the um, pieces for this card, you will get sent to the pieces of the deal or two. We'll, we'll run those all for you. And I say we very loosely because that will actually be Nancy, um, but we will send them to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take that, add this to the front of our card. Oh my gosh, guys, this is, he's so cute. I need to move this up a little bit. It's hanging down a little too low. Let's make sure that I pull it off. All right, hold on. This is yesterday. So you see with the dimensionals, you can roll them off too. Same technique as yesterday. You make a mistake with adhesive, a lot of times you just roll it right off. Okay. I could actually probably put it over here. I'm going to do that. I don't want it to hang off of the... Yeah, we'll put it over on the side. Okay. okay, may your days be full of cheer. Look at that, he's so cute. A couple last things. So yesterday I showed you the new, the new uh, linen thread. It's not twine. I want, I want to make sure I watch my words. Because if you have twine thicker, the linen thread is just like our linen thread. It's the same texture of that. Um, <laughs> Michelle wasn't going to get this bundle. Oh, hi, Nancy. Nancy loves reindeer. Or she loves deer. She has deer in her yard all the time. We talk about all the deer. So anyway, so in this pack of the linen thread is Cajun Craze. There's a Night of the Navy, and then there's a Garden Green. So I went ahead and I tied the bow. I did a double bow of Garden Green, and I'm going to pull off a mini glue dot. I know, guys, this, this is, is so cute. cute. I, can't I can't wait to make, make some tags with this. I'm going to make some tags with this bundle, too. Yep, there you go. I'm just going to trim these off a little long. Okay, so here you go. Look at this beautiful card. May your days be full of cheer. You could always sprinkle on a few of these. You can't tell because it's they're hidden, but there's cobbler, there's the blues, there's pinks, and then look, there are greens up there. You just can't see them. And so and they match this garden green really, really well. So I'm just going to take that and sprinkle on a few of the garden green um, dots. I'm just, I will keep forgetting. I keep forgetting to put it right side up. You're like, Rhonda, it's upside down. I know. Sorry, Barbara. Um, when you do Facebook Lives, and I've been doing them for six years regularly, you, you show them upside down. It, but I just got a new program that actually like allows it to, the, the camera flips it for you. I just keep forgetting. So there you go. There's our finished card. This is day number two featuring reindeer fun. I do want to show you then here is another one that I made, kind of the same, the same kind of concept. So this is the one that you will get for free. So if you uh, purchase in my online store uh, today or even yesterday, if you put an order in yesterday, um, and somebody did, thank you, they did no contact. I'm hoping that they reach out to me, but um, if you place an order in my online store and it's at least over $50, I'll include the free dot. These are normally $8.50, so you're going to save that. Um, and I used the dots uh, yesterday, too. See how pretty those dots are? Uh, anyway, um, you will get this card for free, but I want to show you. This is the same layout. Just, I did the wreath there, and then I used the green twine there. So, And this word's in there, Christmas is better together. I do want to show you one more quick card if you guys want to hang around for a second because I, I chose, it was hard when you guys picked reindeer fun, it was kind of hard to choose between this cute playful deer or look they have all these other pretty deer too. So this one I think is like nothing we've ever had before, so it's very unique to, um, we've never carried something that creates this. So this to me is like very different. Than, than anything that we've done. So I wanted to show you one more very, very quick and simple card. Um, I'm gonna take our thick basic white and then just fold that 
Let me fold it in half. It's four and a quarter by 11. And then I have another piece of uh, white and I'm just gonna take this and tear it. You can make snow so easy by just taking paper and just tearing it. So I'm gonna take that and put it down with some dimensionals. So I want to have a little bit of lift, but I'm not gonna glue it down quite yet. I like to do my little bit of my stamping first. But to position where I know it's gonna go. I, I always make it a little bit longer than I need because I'll just trim, I'll just trim, trim that off. So it's gonna hang over there. One more. All right, so let me know if you are watching this live or if you're watching on YouTube. I love, um, I always put these videos on YouTube too. That way you can go back and you know where to find them when you wanna recreate this. Or you can always save. If you share this video, um, it also makes it easier for you to find too. So anyway, what I'm gonna do next is in that reindeer fun is this cute, cute tree. I think we're gonna have a contest next time. <laughs> Every time I put the thing upside down, like I have to do a burpee or something. But I, I need to like it needs to be a punishment because I seem to not be remembering to do that. All right, and I don't like to do burpees. Okay. We're going to take a garden green, okay, garden green stamp pad. And I just think this tree is adorable. It reminds me of like the uh, Charlie Brown tree, so it's really. It's very simple. I'm just going to stamp that right here, kind of all by itself with garden green. And then I'm going to put down our snow. And I'm going to go down a little bit farther so I'm able to see the trunk on it. There you go. And then I'm going to trim off the part that I went over. I should have positioned that just a little bit better, but it's all right. Look, we can fix anything. And when you do that, you get a nice straight cut and you're going across there. There you go. Look, only you guys watching know that I did that. So this is a very simple white on white. Um, again, just a really adorable card. So next, I stamped this dancing or flying, not he's, he's flying, dancing, whatever. I think he could be doing both. But this flying reindeer, um, and I stamped him like here, and I colored uh, him in, or it could be her, with just crumb cake uh, blends and then a little bit of ivory blends. And I'm going to put that down here. Uh, the words I'm going to use, you could use Merry Christmas, and I like this one to me is May All Your Days Be Filled With Cheer, uh, or we'll do Merry Christmas, because I did all the other ones. I haven't done the Merry Christmas one yet. So let's do Merry Christmas. I almost feel like I need two of them, but I'm only going to put one. Uh, where's my, let me go. Oh, I can't forget to clean that later. This one is cherry cobbler. I use cherry cobbler. It's a little bit of a darker, deeper red. So we'll take cherry cobbler and we're gonna stamp the Merry Christmas just right down here. There we go. We're going to take some of the green twine. One benefit being this new place is my craft table is really close to my video table. When I was at my other studio, it was all the way across the other side of the room. So when I had to go back and forth, it, would, it took me a while. I would run. Okay, so I just did a little bow there. And that's gonna get glued down. I just wanted to show you some of the, you know, the other, um, I don't know, the other, other stamps in this stamp set besides just the regular one. I just ran out of mini glue pots. I have to get another set of them. Hold on, I got them right here. I knew I was getting close. So I'll 
use just regular um, basic rhinestones, the basic little, you know, I'm going to take my red blends and I'm going to gently, I've learned that if you, if you do this really rough, you destroy the tip of your, your blend. So if you just kind of gently kind of color that in, the blends are, uh, like it works kind of like a sharpie where it becomes almost like permanent. And then I'm going to pull that off and put it on the nose so we have a little bit of uh, Rudolph, right? Now it becomes Rudolph when you add your red nose to the end. And then we'll just sprinkle on the rest of some green. One, so it matches the rest of it. Christmassy, super fun. There we go. So oh, there you go. I just want to show you another really simple card that will be really fun to send out over the holidays. Um, you could actually probably put two of them on there. You could put some more trees. I want to show you a really simple one. This is the one that we actually that we made today, and this is the one we made yesterday. So you guys can tune in tomorrow. I will be back again. Come back up here and say hi. Hello. So you guys can tune in again tomorrow. I'll be here at 2 o'clock, and I'll try to be exactly on time. Um, we're trying out some new things, technology speaking, and so it all has a little bit of a learning curve. So thank you for being patient. Pretty soon I'll be a professional. And what's crazy, as soon as you get it down pat, they change it all over again, right? So if you enjoyed this video, I enjoy you guys being here. I cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate you. Um, uh, we're going to still be showing you Snowy Wonder. I have Regal Flora and the Humble Home. Um, we have got lots of more fun things to show you, so keep your little wish list going. Uh, make sure you subscribe this channel because I'll be doing, obviously, these whole five videos this week and lots more are coming your way too. So we'll see you guys pretty soon. Take care. Bye-bye.